This past year, Wisconsin politics was highlighted by the race for governor. Democrat Mary Burke challenged incumbent Republican Scott Walker. Until the final week, polls showed a close race between Walker and her, but uh, Walker won by nearly six percentage points. Fox 11's Andrew Lacombe has more on a big turnout. More than half of Wisconsin residents who could vote in November cast a ballot. The roughly 55 percent turnout is the highest for a midterm governor's election in at least 64 years. Job creation was a major campaign focus for both sides. Mary Burke said her experience at Trek Bicycle would help her improve Wisconsin's economy. Setting goals, making sure you have plans to achieve those goals, and that you have the benchmarks for knowing if you're, you're on track. Governor Walker argued Wisconsin can grow more, but the state is moving in the right direction. I'm for a better economy. I'm for a better UW system. I'm for better schools. I'm for a better technical college system. Here are the financial facts of the race. Burke spent $5 million of her own money on her campaign, one-third of the $15 million her team brought in. Walker raised $25 million since the middle of last year. However, outside groups spent millions more. The governor's win and his victory speech increased speculation. Walker will seek the White House next. That's the difference between what we believe here in Wisconsin and what they're selling in Washington. The governor says a decision about a run for president could come midsummer after the state budget is passed. Meanwhile, Burke remains a member of the Madison School Board. She says she won't run for statewide office again. Andrew Lacombe, Fox 11 News. Relive the highs and lows. The stunning images and captivating stories of 2014 at fox11online.com. Just click on 2014 Year in Review on the home page.